Welcome to the Ogasawara Islands. This archipelago consists of more than 30 islands of various sizes, only two of which are inhabited. Chichijima, Father Island, and Hahajima, Mother Island. Chichijima is about 1,000 kilometers south of mainland Tokyo. Despite that huge difference, it's still part of Tokyo Prefecture. Chichijima can only be accessed by ferry, which runs once a week and takes around 24 hours, which makes the island a unique place to visit. Another big factor that makes these islands so special is that they are registered as a UNESCO World Natural Heritage Site in recognition of its efforts to coexist with nature long before the terms SDGs and sustainable became popular. Ogosawara is home to globally important endangered species and is an essential area for the conservation of biodiversity in the Pacific Central Maritime Region. The island has a short history and a lot of the islanders are immigrants, so the people here are open-minded and welcoming to all people, regardless of nationality, gender, or age. On this journey, we're going to speak to an islander of American descent and learn more about Ogasawara, its history, nature, and things to do. And we're even going to go out and do some of those things together. So come on, let's go. The Ogasawara Islands have formed their own distinctive and unique ecosystem because these islands have never been connected to a continent. They consist of about 30 islands of varying sizes that are surrounded by the sea, whose unique blue color is referred to as Bonin Blue. The name Bonin comes from the Japanese word Bunin, an old reading of Mujin, which means no people or uninhabited. It is said that after the Ogasawara Islands were discovered by samurai Sadayori Ogasawara in 1593, no one settled on the islands until 1830. With no permanent residence for centuries, they were referred to as the uninhabited, the Bonin Islands. Today, about 2,600 people live on Chichijima and Hahajima, and the rest of the islands are still uninhabited. In 2011, the Ogasawara Islands were recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. What's interesting is that the Ogasawara Islands used to be a U.S. territory, and there are many residents whose roots trace back to the Americans, Europeans, Native Hawaiians, and other Pacific Islanders who moved to live here during the 19th century. We're here at Pat Inn to talk to Shosei Bori, who is a descendant of one of the first settlers on this island about 200 years ago. Now, he owns a hotel which he runs with his family. Let's see what interesting stories he has for us. Ah, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa, yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Can you tell me how was Chichijima discovered? の 1593年に徳川家康の配下にいた小笠原貞頼という人物が南海の探検に出てその時にあの発見したと言われています。Who was your ancestor, Nathaniel Savory? Nathaniel Savory はですね、ハワイにのホノルルにいる時に小笠原移民団の一員としてま、自分を入れた5人の西洋人とえっと30人近くのカナカ人 で、合計も30人以上ぐらいの人たちで少ないに乗ってきました。What was life like for the first settlers here? そうですね。あの、農業や漁業などやって、あの、捕鯨船の人たちに売ってたんですね。それで生活してました。Okay, so farmers. ファーム、そうですね。What did they grow? まあ、いろいろ野菜とかだと思うんですけど、なんかトウモロコシとかあとは畜産でま牛とか豚とかあとはアヒルなども売ってたみたいですね。Were you born here? そうですね。ここで生まれ育ちました。Okay, and school and college. はい、あの小学校までここだったんですけど、ま父親が公務員だったので、あの茨城県の方に住んでた時期もあって、そのままもうあの中学校高校大学だとはもうみんなもう。本土で過ごしてそれで向こうで就職してそれで今から9年前にこの島に戻ってきました。Okay, 9 years ago. そうですね。
And now you run Pat In. So, this is me. Pat In, a company that I've been to. It's amazing to think that 200 years ago, people from different countries who spoke different languages came here to Ogasawara and formed a, a community. Yeah, I'd love to learn more about Ogasawara. What are some ways I can experience the nature here firsthand? So, this is the first activity. いいですね。特にカヤックなんか面白いと思いますね。またやはりあの陸行きも面白いです。あの森を歩いたりとかすると小笠原にしかない固有の植動植物に出会ったりすることもできるので、陸と海が両方楽しいところです。The Ogasawara Visitor Center is located on Chichijima's northern part within Ogamiyama Park. Follow the coastal road west of the Futami Pier towards the park for around 10 minutes on foot, and you're there. We're here at Ogiura Beach on the west side of Chichijima. We're about to go kayaking in the Bonin Blue Sea. Let's go join our tour guides, Yuto san and Ryo san. Good morning! Good morning! <laughs> Wake up! Thank you! I'm so excited! <laughs> yeah, it's my first time kayaking. My first time. The trail at Mount Chibusa is six kilometers and takes four hours to complete. Uh, be sure to bring some comfortable clothes and sneakers. Also, there are no bathrooms or vending machines, so be sure to bring your own water, food, and portable toilet. Be sure to stay on the trail to avoid damaging the rare species on the mountain. Also, we're not allowed to pick any plants or feed any animals, so be sure to take your trash home with you. Do not bring in creatures that are not native to the Ogasawara Islands or spread them to other islands or mountains. Before boarding a boat or going into the mountains, check the soles of your shoes for mud and your clothes and bag for seeds and insects. Be sure to wash the soles of your shoes to prevent the invasion of alien species and protect the natural environment unique to the island. You might be wondering how did the plant seeds get to the island? Some arrive by ocean currents, some on the wings of birds, and some by wind. These plants evolved uniquely on the island, which was bare ground with no competition or natural enemies. Some of these plants are now rare or endangered species, having been severely depleted by goats and rats introduced by humans. The highest peak in the Ogasawara Islands is an adventure spot where you can fully enjoy the natural beauty and the unique ecosystem of the Ogasawara Islands through trekking. In the forest along the trail, you can see a variety of plants such as the flower, Hahajima no Botan, and the tree, Wadanoki. There are also endemic species such as the snail, Katamaimai, and the bird, Hahajima Meguro, a special natural treasure. So we're almost to the end of the trail. I am tired, I'm sweaty, and I'm ready to head back to the town. Okay, let's see if we can find some dolphins. More than 20 species of marine mammals are found in the waters around Ogasawara, including bottlenose dolphins and Indo Pacific bottlenose dolphins. They can be seen year round since around Ogasawara Islands is their home waters. Moreover, bottlenose dolphins are particularly curious and sometimes approach divers, which makes it possible to swim with them. 
Between January and April, humpback whales visit the area, and you can enjoy whale watching. The surrounding waters are also the breeding ground for Japan's largest green sea turtles. Visitors may even see a full-grown green sea turtle passing leisurely in front of them in the ocean. What kind of foods are popular in Ogasawara? So, this is passion fruits, shima lemon, and shima tomato. And so, there are also ramushu, shima shio, shima rayu. There are a lot of things. And so, there are also a lot of coffee in Japan. And there are also a lot of Ogasawara coffee. I love coffee. Great. I'll definitely check that out. I'll definitely check that out. We're here at Nosei's farm garden to see if we can try any of Ogasawa's lush produce. The subtropical climate is perfect for vanilla beans, coffee beans, and cacao. They also offer coffee making tours that involve roasting and dripping the coffee by hand. Let's go hear from Nosei-san. Ah, konnichiwa. Ogasawara was the first place where coffee was grown in Japan. And here at Nosei's farm garden, they have about 700 coffee trees. They offer coffee making tours that include a visit to the coffee trees and a handmade drip coffee experience, from harvesting to making a cup of coffee by hand. So, first of all, I'd love to hear about the history of coffee cultivation in Ogasawara. Ogasawara is a country that was built in Ogasawara. 78年なんですね。で、その年に日本で初めて、えー、コーヒー栽培が取り組まれるんですね。で、その時に、えー、あのー、私の、えー、先祖。えー、初代がですね私が5代目で、えー、なんですけれども初代がここに、えー、開拓民の一人としてきた時にその、えー、コーヒー栽培の、えー、プロジェクトから苗木を譲り受けたらしくってそれを農園の片隅に植えてたものがずっと生き続けてこぼれ種からあの自生野生化してあのずっと大あの次の子孫をつないでいったんですね。でそれが今もあの栽培しているというようなことで途中あの途絶えてしまってもおかしくない,ないような状況になったこともあったんですけどそれでもやっぱりあのこの環境に合ったせいかあの一人で植えはあの生き続けたものが見つかってでそれで復活することができたっていう感じですね。はい、Is there anything special about the taste of the coffee here? うんそうですねよく言われるのはあの日本らしいこう優しい味っていうようなことは言われます。で多分あの先祖たちも苦労してあの小笠原の先人たちも苦労したようなほろ苦い優しい味なのかなっていうふうには想像します。<笑>はい<笑> Do you grow anything else besides coffee beans? えっと少しなんですけどカカオとかも育ててたりチョコレートのカカオですね。あとはあのバニラビーンズ。これはもうあのある程度取れるようにはなってます。はい。でそれからあのまあバニラがあのスパイスの一つなのであのいろいろこうスパイスに興味が湧いちゃってですね。コーヒーにちなんだいろんなシナモンだとかクローブだとかカルダモンとかそんなようなあのスパイスもこれからどんどん増やしたいなと思ってやってます。はい<笑>オガソワラズユニークプロデュース、which includes island vegetables and fruits, has sparked renewed interest in its food culture in recent years. In fact, オガソワラズ local produce was one of the reasons why the islands were registered as a world natural heritage site.
The nature on Ogasawara is so rich and unique. How do islanders protect it? まずですね、あの島民がやっぱりこの島を愛していて、この島の自然によって自分たちが生かされているという感覚が強いので、すごいリスペクトしてます。だからみんなゴミとか捨てたり、自然を汚す人がいないですね。あとやはり10年以上前にも世界自然遺産になって、まあ、それから特にもう小笠原の希少な固有の植物を守るために、外から危険な動物動植物を持ち込まないような努力もされていますね。そういったことが今後も継続されていくのが重要だと思います。Before we leave this beautiful island, I want to show you something truly amazing. On this night tour, we're going to see a beautiful starry sky, nocturnal animals, and maybe, if we're lucky, a glowing green pepe mushroom. Let's go! Night tours to view the starry skies are very popular in Ogasawara. If you'd like to experience it, you can book a guided tour online, which usually costs about 4,000 yen per person for a two hour tour. Ogasawara is a great place to visit all year round, but in order to fully enjoy the time on the island, the locals recommend avoiding the Japanese vacation seasons, which includes Golden Week in late April to early May, Obon in August, New Year's holidays, as well as summer and spring holidays. Even if you don't visit in the summer, you can still enjoy the subtropical climate. In fact, the climate of Ogasawara is warm throughout the year, with an average temperature of 23 degrees Celsius. Also, in the winter and spring months, you can enjoy whale watching and maybe see humpback whales. If you want to go whale watching, winter and spring seasons are the best times to visit. As we have seen, there are many unique experiences you can try in Ogasawara. Our conversations with the locals led us to amazing experiences, such as dolphin watching, jungle trekking, kayaking, coffee and fruit tasting, and stargazing. These experiences showed us just how precious the natural environment of the Ogasawara Islands is, and how we as visitors can also play an active role in protecting these world natural heritage sites. So don't wait! Visit the Ogasawara Islands and see the unspoiled beauty for yourself.